So Heather is not tied to the uh, to the Windows platform. Like she might be working from Linux uh, with the. Um, she can either use the web UI or she could uh, she could be using Linux and she could use Eclipse, our Eclipse cli Team Content client on Eclipse on Linux. And um, so the first thing she's gonna now what she wants to do is to use the code that uh, Chris has delivered to uh, to the stream. And she wants to set up a build engine and uh, she wants to produce a build that's going to generate the Windows executable uh, using the uh, command line tools from Visual Studio. And uh, so that the um, this executable can be found from her download page on the on the on her web on the uh, the jazz website for her project area. So the first thing she does in the uh, rational team concert client for Eclipse is she's going to connect to her project area that she created uh, earlier through the web UI. She logs in as herself. And then in the, she connects to her project area. And the first thing that she is going to do is expand the project area in the team artifacts view. And you can see that it looks similar to what uh, the team artifacts looks like in the Visual Studio uh, client. She is going to create a new build engine. I'm going to give it an ID, engine1. I'm going to pick a project area. And we're going to save that. Now, what we actually have to do is start the build engine process. So we're going over to, um, we're going to, uh, to where we have installed the, uh, the, the build. Um, the team concert build system, and uh, where we have installed this, this we unzipped this uh, this download. Um, I'm currently in the folder where the uh, the build engine is uh, is installed, and this is the command line that Heather is uh, going to run to start this um, build process for the first time. So I'm specifying the uh, the uh, executable is called GBE, and I'm passing the uh, repository URI of the uh, JAS server that uh, it is going to be serving. I'm specifying the um, the pass the user ID and the password uh, that's going to be used as credentials to log in to the um, to the JAS server and giving the uh, telling that engine what engine ID it is uh, it is uh, assigned and uh, one more thing is that about the password in this demo I'm using it in clear I'm passing it in clear as an argument but you can use it you can pass a text file and uh, so that it won't be uh, visible to uh, people who have access to that um, script to that script or window so I'm starting now the build engine and the build engine does one thing is that it's connecting to the uh, to the, to the jazz server and waiting for requests from the jazz server so now we have started the build engine uh, Heather is going to do one more thing she's going to create a build definition to tell so that we can instruct the build engine and teach it how to uh, create a Windows executable. This build definition is going to be a command line one. We're going to use, uh, we're going to integrate with Microsoft uh, Visual Studio uh, command line tools. We're going to fetch the source code uh, from the Jazz uh, server, from the stream that um, that Chris has. Uh, used to the deli has delivered these changes too. Then in this build definition we're gonna say that we want to use the engine one that we have just started. We're gonna switch over to the uh, source control tab and where here we're gonna say that we want to create a workspace, a build workspace, and it's gonna be um, Using getting changes from the uh, stream, the stream that uh, we use now, project area. So it's going to get all the changes that Chris has delivered earlier. We're going to specify where on the disk, 
of the, the build machine, this um, the source code should be uh, downloaded. And we want to have a clean build every time, so we're going to instruct that this folder be deleted every time a build is started. Then the last step is to specify the build script to, uh, to run uh, by the build engine so that it can compile the uh, Visual Studio solution. And uh, so we're going to give it, uh, I'm going to mention the location of that script that we have. And we're going to pass a few arguments to the um, to that script. We're going to give the URI of the repository. And uh, we're going to give it the, uh, the particular identifier of that build so that it knows where to um, upload the resulting executable that's going to be uh, compiled. Now we save. So there is um, this build definition has been now added to the team artifact view, and uh, we can right click on it and request a build. And this is now a few steps are taking steps now that there's the um, build machine is getting a request to run that build definition. It is going to um, load the um, the source code from the stream that we have specified onto, um, onto the uh, build machine's uh, file system. It's going to run a script that invokes Microsoft Visual Studio command line tools to build that solution. And after that is done, uh, it is going to um, upload to our uh, to the Jazz server the uh, executable, the Windows executable, and so we can actually see it from the um, People can access it from the um, from the web UI or any other client. So it's now publishing the result to the uh, to the uh, Jazz server. So the, um, we now have uh, no, this is the final stage of our, of our demo. Uh, Heather has um, kickstarted this new project from a blank server. Chris has uh, generated some code and shared it in Jazz. And now Heather has set up the build machine. And we have this uh, build result here, which shows the, um, that there is uh, one download available. Um, it tells us from which workspace it was built on. And that snapshot was taken, so we can uh, easily get back to that um, environment if we want to do a rebuild. And we can click on that link. And here's the executable is running. And um, now Heather can just do one more thing. She can go back to um, management, send them an email, and show them that um, they can now go and see by themselves what her project looks like on the Jazz server on the web. They can go visit her project area, have a look at the builds part, build section, and um, visit 
or let us build so that they can see by themselves what uh, what they have produced and they can download the um, they can download the executable by themselves as well and run it on their machine 